Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will design this minimalistic logo. The name of the logo is Tiny Drop and this logo is a combination of two elements. The first element is the letter T, which is the initial letter of the name of the logo. And the second element is Drop. Now let's continue with today's tutorial. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to View and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then change the width of your page to 1280 and hide to 720 pixels then simply left click on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu, simply left click on this icon. And the second one is align and distribute menu, simply left click on this icon. And you can see that both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now select the create circles tool with the left click of mouse. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard, then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in this direction to draw a perfect circle like this. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and now it doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by left clicking on this cross icon and we will assign it some stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. In the fill and stroke menu simply go to stroke style, change the width units to pixels, then change the width to 2 pixels and press enter. Then simply uncheck this option which says when scaling object, scale the stroke width by the same proportion. We doesn't want to increase and decrease the stroke width with the size of the shape. So simply uncheck this option with the left click of mouse like this. Then here you can see that we have the option for the width and the height. First left click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional properties. Then set the value of height to 570 pixels. Then press enter on the keyboard like this. Right click on this circle and select duplicate. Then Set the value of height for the duplicated copy to 400 pixels like this. Then select both of these shapes like this. Scroll down and select align and distribute menu with the left click of mouse from the relative to select page. Then left click on this icon which says center on vertical axis. Then again left click on this center on horizontal axis like this. Now again select the create circles tool with the left click of mouse. Hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and draw a perfect circle like this. Now we have to place this quadrant of the smaller circle at this quadrant. For this purpose we have to turn on the snapping options. So turn on the snapping options by left clicking on this icon. Then left click on this icon which says snap nodes, paths and handles. Then left click on this snap to paths. Then left click on this icon which says snap to rectangle corners and also for this one snap to quadrant points of ellipses like this. Then left click on this icon which says snap other points. Then turn on snap centers of objects and also left click on this snap and items rotation center like this. Now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Hold down your left mouse button on this smaller circle. Then drag this up to the quadrant of this circle like this. Now again hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in downward direction up to this quadrant like this. Now select the pen tool with the left click of mouse. Then left click on this quadrant of the circle and again left click on this quadrant like this. Then press enter on the keyboard. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Then go to object and select transform. Scroll down and here we have the transform menu. Simply select this menu with the left click of mouse like this. And here we have the option for the rotate. Simply set the value of the angle to 65 and left click on this. Rotate in counterclockwise direction like this. Then scroll down and select apply. Then right click on this line and select duplicate. Then left click on this icon which says flip objects horizontally like this. Then press Z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool. Then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse like this. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Then left click on this smaller circle and again left click and you can see that a small plus icon is appearing at the center of the circle. Simply hold down your left mouse button at this icon and drag it towards the center of these circles like this. 
then hold down your left mouse button at this rotation handle and drag your mouse in this direction up to this point like this again right click and select duplicate then hold down your left mouse button at this handle of the duplicated copy and drag it towards this point like this then release your left mouse button and again hold down your left mouse button at this handle and again drag your mouse in downward direction up to this point like this now select this line with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard also for this one select this line and press delete on the keyboard now again select the pen tool with the left click of mouse then left click once at this position hold down the control key move your mouse in the downward direction and again left click like this and simply press enter on the keyboard then again select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height simply set the value of the height to 30 pixels and press enter then hold down your left mouse button at this line and drag it towards the quadrant of this circle like this now again select create circles tool with the left click of mouse then hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in this direction to draw a perfect circle like this then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and here we have the option for the width and the height simply set the value of 5 to 115 pixels and press enter on the keyboard now we have to place this quadrant of this circle at this corner of the line for this purpose hold down your left mouse button at this circle and drag it towards this point of the line like this now again select the pen tool with the left click of mouse like this then left click at this quadrant of the circle and again left click at this quadrant and press enter on the keyboard then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse again go to transform menu and set the value of angle to 45 degrees set the direction to anti clockwise scroll down and select apply now again right click at this line and select duplicate then left click on this icon flip selected objects horizontally like this then again right click on this line and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy up to the corner of this line like this now select this line right click and select duplicate and then again drag the duplicated copy at this corner of the line like this now we are almost done simply left click on this line and press delete on the keyboard again left click on this line and press delete on the keyboard also for this one and press delete on the keyboard then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this then select all of these shapes go to path and select combine then select the rectangle tool with the left click of mouse hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse in such a way that it covers the whole body like this and then assign it some solid color like this red color now again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse then left click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom like this one then select both of these shapes go to path and select division now deselect all of these shapes by left clicking on the white area like this now to delete the unwanted parts simply hold down the delete key on your keyboard and left click on the unwanted part like this also for this one and for this one now our logo is almost ready now select all of these parts go to path and select union now we doesn't need the stroke so simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this cross icon like this then select create and edit text tool with the left click of mouse then left click on the page and write the name of your logo which is tiny drop and here you can see that we have the option for spacing between letters simply set the spacing to 10 and press enter on the keyboard now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse go to path and select object to path and here we have the option for the width and the height simply set the value of height to 90 pixels and press enter on the keyboard like this then select both of these shapes scroll down and select align and distribute menu with the left click of mouse and simply left click on this icon which says center on vertical axis like this now deselect both of these shapes by left clicking on the white area like this now hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button at this text and drag your mouse in upward direction like this now right click on this text and select ungroup now select all of these shapes and drag it at the center like this one now it's time to assign some colors to our logo which i have already decided you can easily see the colors from the color codes simply left click on this shape and then left click on this icon which says create and edit gradients like this now hold down your left mouse button at this corner of the shape and drag your mouse towards this corner like this now left click on this icon which says 
pick colors from image left click on this color like this then left click on this small rectangular icon and again left click on this color like this then again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse then select this text which is tiny again select pick colors from the image tool and left click on this color then again select the selection tool this time select this drop again left click on this icon which says pick colors from the image tool and left click on this color like this now this is our final design and if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section thanks for watching and have a nice day